Hi darlings, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a mixed high street haul. I have been asking you guys quite a lot recently what you'd like to see on my channel and I've had a lot of requests for things like a Zara haul, an ASOS haul, um, River Island, things like that. So instead of doing individual hauls like I kind of used to do a lot of last year, I thought I would combine all the things I've been buying from my favourite high street retailers lately into one video because I have been buying a lot less fast fashion so I don't have quite the volume of clothing to show you but I do have some really lovely pieces that I have got from these retailers at some fabulous affordable prices so as always with my haul videos everything that I mention will be linked down below so if you'd like to shop any of them or find out any additional information then just open up the description box and all the information will be down there but without further ado let's see what I've been buying from the high street okay so for Zara I actually did an online order and that's actually something I don't normally do. To be honest, Zara in general, I find the customer service absolutely appalling, um, but I just can't resist so many of the fabulous pieces in there. They really are my go-to when it comes to pieces that have a real design and look about them, but the prices are really good in my opinion. So let me show you what I picked up from Zara.com. First of all, this incredible pair of boots, and I actually have something um, quite similar from Topshop, but the colour of these, I just fell in love as soon as I saw them. They are a beautiful beigey grey suede, they're going to go with literally everything in my wardrobe, and then they've got a kind of slightly more brownie leather point on the toes. If you ask me, they look very Chanel-esque. They also have the same leather that goes down the back and into the heel. The heel itself is pretty much the perfect height for me. I'm only around five foot three, so I do need a little height boost. And that is the kind of heel height I can wear all day. This style of boots, I love at this time of year. If I'm wearing something quite long, then I can get away with wearing thermal tights and cashmere socks underneath. But if I'm wearing something that's maybe midi length, it's pretty much as short as I get at this time of year, um, then it's only a little bit of leg exposed so on those more mild winter days they're not going to be too chilly. These were £89 so not super affordable but I do think you get what you pay for when it comes to footwear and for sure I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of these. The colour actually reminds me of my Reese Grey suede mules which you may remember if you saw my top 15 most um, worn or top 15 best purchases in my entire wardrobe so I thought hopefully they will have the same kind of versatility about them. So that is my first purchase from Zara.com and I love them. The next thing that I got from Zara is something that I absolutely did not need. It is a new coat. I think, oh, I really, I don't need this at all and I'm probably going to send it back because it's actually a little bit ridiculous. But on my Instagram, I keep seeing people wearing this brand called Shop The Curated. And it's not a retailer that I've heard much about or, or shopped from myself in the past. But the coat that my favourite Instagrammers keep wearing looks very much like this. I think a lot more expensive than this. Um, but I just really love the very loose kind of silhouette, very relaxed waterfall style closure of this. It literally is just a plain... Um, there's not even a lining to it, it really is just a chunk of felt basically. Price wise, it's £119, I was actually expecting it to be a little bit less. I do have a lot of camel coats in my wardrobe, but if you are yet to find your perfect camel coat, then I think this would be a really, really nice one to try. And if you want that kind of cool girl Instagrammer look, then this is a really nice coat to get that vibe. I will try it on for you, um, but yeah, just not 100% sure. If I need this in my collection, I think I just got excited when I saw it online. The next thing is also something that maybe I didn't need but again if you watched my top 15 best ever purchases video you'll know that one of them was a cashmere roll neck and the one that I featured in that video was from Debenhams it was quite a quite a tight fitting one and I did actually stain it um, about a week or so ago I was eating chocolate watching tv and I let some chocolate flakes drop onto it and they melted and I can't get the mark out so I'm very sad I am still persevering it's currently in the dry cleaner as we speak but I I saw this one on Zara and price wise it's pretty typical for a good quality cashmere jumper, £160. I know I said this is going to be affordable, I know that that is not hugely affordable but I think for cashmere again you do get what you pay for and there is a lot of material here, it's quite a loose fit but then you've got this really lovely cosy chunky roll neck. I would say if you're 
pondering about what size to get. This is a small, it comes in small, medium and large and it does look pretty oversized but I think that's nice, it's going to make it a little bit different to the cashmere jumpers that I've got already because all of the ones in my current collection are pretty form-fitting. So this with a pair of jeans, maybe a pair of wide leg mom style jeans tucked in with my Gucci belt perhaps. This is just going to be a really lovely, cosy, very wearable wardrobe staple that is of course totally timeless. So yes, it's £160 but this kind of thing is never going to go out of fashion so if you care for it well and I do have a video on caring for your clothes coming up very soon I know I get lots of questions about that kind of topic but if you care for something like this then it's going to last you year after year and it's definitely not going to go out of style. Next from Zara and they I feel like this order has been packaged a lot more nicely than previous Zara orders, maybe they're stepping up their online game. This is a bag and it definitely has Cult Gaia vibes about it. If you're not familiar with Cult Gaia, I'll pop one of their designs on the screen here. Cult Gaia is very expensive but I think they look beautiful in holiday photos and they're really nice for taking to the beach, really lovely Instagrammable summer handbags and this is very reminiscent of that. It has got these bamboo straps, it's got the exact same kind of circular design as the Cult Gaia bags in this white I don't know what you'd call this, it's kind of literally like string. I've paid £30 for a load of nicely woven string, but £30 for a bag like this I think is pretty good. Um, it does have a chain shoulder strap, but I'm going to take that out because I really don't think this chain goes with this bag. Obviously you're going to have to be quite careful as to what you put inside, you might want to get a little fabric pouch to pop all of your bits and bobs in to put in here, because it's quite gappy um, so you're going to be able to see things and anything small could potentially fall out like a lip liner or even a little lipstick so be wary of that but for £30 and Charlie and I do have a trip to the Maldives coming up I thought this would be absolutely perfect for packing as well it folds down completely flat so a really good one to pop in the suitcase as well. Next up and these are seriously beautiful a little bit different for my personal style I got this gorgeous pair of I would say like an oxblood colour faux crocodile leather boots and these are knee-high boots. I'm a huge fan of over knee boots but recently I have been reaching for my knee-high boots so instead of going over the knee they finish just under the knee. I've been reaching for that length of boot a lot lately. When it comes to the colour I'm gonna have to experiment and make sure they do work with my wardrobe because I don't have that many dark things in my wardrobe. I think if you've got a lot of black dresses or navy dresses then this colour is going to be perfect but for me I do wish they were in a lighter shade but I do need to experiment especially at this time of year. Perhaps with my dark moss green Reese dress. I think that could be a really nice combination. Again these look to be really good quality. The stitching is finished really nicely. A really good height heel. Again I'm going to be able to walk around in this all day but it's going to give me a nice height boost. They were £150 or 149 to be precise but I do think you're getting a lot of boot for your money. You wouldn't be able to get this style of shoe of this quality any cheaper anywhere else. I think the Dune um, knee high boots are also £150 so that's pretty normal I would say for a good quality pair of knee-high boots. It seems like I was on a bit of a shoe mission when I was on Zara.com because my final purchase from Zara is another pair of boots. So these ones are in the same kind of faux crocodile leather. They are real leather but obviously not real crocodile leather. They've just been um, kind of embossed in that style. These are a pair of white pointed toe boots and I'd had this style of boot on my wish list for quite some time. I think it was either Nicholas Kirkwood or Zimmerman or Jamito Rossi, one of those designers, had a pair of boots like this that I lusted over so much but I was waiting for the high street to bring out an alternative and of course it was Zara that came to my rescue. These were £95.99. I feel like Zara have really put up the prices of their footwear but again the quality does look to be very good indeed. Slightly lower heel height I would say than the other two boots but still going to give me enough of a height boost and these again I think will work with a lot of things in my wardrobe. I think white boots and especially pointed toe boots are very flattering and they go with dresses, midi skirts, maxi skirts, jeans etc etc so I can already think of lots of different ways that I will style these so hopefully I will get a really good price per wear. The next retailer that I have been purchasing from is ASOS and the first thing to show you, you may actually have spotted these in a vlog lately but just in case you missed it because it was just kind of a mini snippet of unboxing within a vlog, is this little pearl set of hair clips, hopefully you can see them in focus there. 
As you might be able to tell by my giant hair clip today, this one is actually from Etsy, I'll leave it linked down below. I'm a big fan of pearl hair clips at the moment, I love having my hair kept out of my face, and since I had my hair cut I've been wearing it down a lot more, but I also don't like to leave it plain, so big fan of pearl hair clips, hair clips in general. And this little set was £6 for two, I actually already have a set of these, I didn't want to lose them and be left without, so I thought I would just pick up another pair, so now I have four of these in total. I'm definitely on a bit of a uh, footwear splurge at the moment because I also picked up a pair of ankle boots from ASOS. These are ASOS own brand and I'm always a big fan of ASOS own brand, I think the quality versus the price is really good, especially when you compare to retailers like Revolve where their own brand pieces, you can rarely get anything for under $150 and I'm always very disappointed by the quality. ASOS on the other hand, these I think uh, were around the £65 mark. Similar reasoning with me buying these to the white Zara ones, I thought they'd be incredibly versatile, they'll be very flattering, with a nude colour they will be very leg elongating and the pointed toe. They are stiletto which is typically a little bit harder to walk in but not too high and I find that because your ankle is so supported in boots it just takes away any difficulty in walking. So like the white ones, I think these will go with so many things in my wardrobe. Okay, so these next few pieces from ASOS are a little bit different to what I would normally feature in a haul, but they are specifically for an upcoming event that Charlie and I have. We're actually going to Berlin for a fragrance launch event in some crazy mansion, and Charlie's being kitted out with a suit, so I thought I would treat myself to a new dress to be equally as glamorous. I love buying needle and thread on ASOS. I find that ASOS just it's so easy to get things delivered and returns are so easy so the retailers that I've not used their own website before like Needle and Thread for me it's just a great way of getting those pieces so I have two options here um, I'd like you guys to let me know which thing which you think is best first of all this beautiful dress and I think it's called the rose water print it's almost like a printed tool you've got some dusky rose that 2019 key trend right there dusky rose colored um, detail printed onto the tool you've got a black waistband um, which definitely needs ironing and then the skirt is just tears and tears of this beautiful printed tool material it's gonna be quite a voluminous skirt full length it's slightly sheer at the top and then it does have a lining or a slip on the inside so that's option one and then option two I actually bought the skirt in the same material it doesn't have any of the tiers in it it's just a very long maxi skirt with this tool material instead of having the different layers of the tool and I thought this if I can make this appear really high-waisted create a bit of a cinch in waist with a belt and maybe wear it with a silky top maybe not this exact one because it's a little bit casual at the top but something along these lines like a silky blouse some actually that might be a really nice combination Hmm, maybe I'll try these on together. I thought this would be a little bit less dressy, but also it means I can style this skirt in several different ways in the future instead of just one statement dress, which would probably limit the amount of times or occasions I could wear it to. I also quite like the fact that this kind of skirt can be dressed up and down. You could even wear this with a chunky jumper, even my, this one I absolutely love, this is from Andela Stories, um, and I think it's such a good dupe of the Zimmerman jumper, could even wear it with something like this, in fact I really like that combination. I think I'm leaning towards a skirt, let me know what you guys think, because uh, they are expensive so it's quite a big decision. And then the last high street retailer to include in today's haul is French Connection and they always have some really lovely pieces for this time of year where you want your daily outfits to be a little bit more elevated than the usual jeans and jumper combination. I personally love their day dresses which is why I picked up this beautiful dress. This is in a navy so again a little bit darker shade for me but very suitable for this time of year. It's got a slightly sheer, almost chiffon -y feel fabric on the sleeves, a pull in waist detail so you should be able to create a really nice silhouette or you can wear it really loose and non-form-fitting like this. Lengthwise it is a midi length, it goes down to a slightly thicker cotton material at the bottom and I do love wearing dresses in winter, I find it such an easy outfit to put together. So this perhaps with my white Reese coat will look absolutely gorgeous and on those chilly days I could also put my thermal on underneath it as well. So again I wanted to have some options so I probably won't keep both of these but we have got another dress, this one doesn't have two different kinds of material, it's all one in this again kind of light chiffony type material. It's got a slightly more elasticated waist so it's naturally 
actually more cinched in and it's more of a blouse style again I thought this with ankle boots or knee-high boots perhaps my new Zara ones would look absolutely lovely it does have a little slit in there so you will be able to see the boots and I think the sleeves are probably three-quarter length so I'm only going to keep one of these dresses so let me know down below which one is your favorite so those are my new in pieces from the high street I would love to know what you guys think have you been investing in any new pieces from the high street lately I would love to know so let me know down in the comments below what your latest high street splurges would be and if there are any retailers that you think I am yet to discover or you'd like to see me shopping at please let me know um, I always like to have a little bit more inspiration when it comes to my shopping as I mentioned all of these things will be linked down below so just click show more for all the information and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you soon in my next one thanks for watching bye